Hello YouTube, this is Tyant, and this is part 3 of my instance farming. And while I was doing this, I saw that there was a bunch of people out here. I'm assuming someone made a video about farming this place. So, usually when that happens, a bunch of people that go and do stuff like that. And it also looks like they're doing it as a guild for maybe some kind of achievement. But this is Scarlet Monastery. And this is the Scattered Scarlet Halls. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Scarlet Halls. Now, like I did in the first one, I'm going to be doing this without... Oh, wait. Okay, it looks like I do have money. Um... Oh, well. Well, I know how much I started off with, so... Here we go. Boom. Now, this is a lot different from the instance I just did because... There, the things are not only higher, but... They also have a pretty different pattern than what most instances have. Because these, they go around in packs, and then they start, like, doing stuff. Like also this part, I don't I don't really get what this is for. But what you basically do is then you just hold the shield and then you walk forward. And since there's people behind me, it really does make a difference. It's not like they're really gonna do any damage. What might, and as you can see right now, what's actually doing damage is that fire. Cause what are, cause what they're doing. Okay, and I have to wait in here till the dogs come. I think that's what you do here. Oh no, I have to kill this boss, so. Blade Storm, you all die. Okay, got some stuff from there. Got a green. And on the way, like um, like I do in my videos, I'm not going to all the extra things, just going for the main ones. Oops. Okay, so I think on this part, the dogs actually going to attack him. So I'm just gonna stay right here. Yeah, so the dogs attack him to finish him off, and then they go and attack those things, and I can loot him. I realized something about instances since Mr. Pandaria. A lot of the icons for the like gear and stuff, they look like it should be in like a high level thing. Like this thing I just looted, it looks like it's a raid item for like cloth wearers, for like fell power or something. It just looks like it's a lot stronger. I'm gonna grab these and some other right here. I'm not gonna worry about those cannon people. And just gonna go through here. And also they look a lot stronger. Well I know in Miss Pandaria um this the actual players got stronger as well but they just their gear it just looks like they should be for something different. I wonder if I should go right here and go ahead and kill him or just wait. I'll go ahead and do it. Okay, so I don't know if they're gonna follow me in here. I guess they are. Okay, gonna go ahead and kill him. Gonna loot him. And I'm gonna continue. Because I don't wanna stop and loot them right here. I think there's supposed to be some more some more mobs that spawn, like after he dies. But I think they might have just been the old one. They might have changed it. These things are giving me a lot of lag, even though it's barely any. Okay, so obviously they did not spawn things after he dies. So just gonna keep on going and. Going through here. 
Oh, and in the future, I'm going to be doing more than just essence farming. I'm also going to be doing, like, old raids. So, it'll go in the same playlist. It'll just be raids. It's going to be entitled Farming is, um, Instance Farming. But on the actual playlist, it's going to say Raid Farming. So, if... So, well, not yet, but... Like, when I do that, then that's just something you should know. Why can I attack him? Okay, I think this is like the last boss. I'm gonna go ahead. Yeah, this is the last boss. So, killed him pretty easy. This was actually a pretty fast run, surprisingly. I think these are those um, things that spawn after the boss that I was talking about. I thought they just completely removed these, but apparently they didn't. So just gonna loot these. Again, I don't do the quests because that can make a money difference. And this is if you're farming this repeatedly, the amount of money and damage you can do. And get these piles of gold, gold coins. And gonna get this dude. Oh, it looks like there's two of them. Okay. Uh, this stone is taken by 99%. Wow. So, let's see if this works. Yeah, that worked. Okay, so all I have to do is just fear them. So they'll stop casting and then collect. Just gonna make sure I looted everything, so I'm gonna go back. This one actually seemed a lot faster than the one in Rage Fire Chasm. Probably because it's just a pretty much straight shot. Um, at first we had 86 gold, I mean 86 silver, and now we have over 4 gold, so this is a lot more profitable, and we haven't done any selling yet, so I'll be doing that. My archive's flashing, but I don't see it. I don't know what's up with that. Okay, so I think I basically just have to go go to a regular seller. Sometimes that happens after I use it before I go into an instance, it doesn't always reset. Because sometimes when you do that, if you use it right before you go into an instance, then when you go out, then the cooldown will reset. I know um, you can still summon it, but it won't actually do anything. Okay, just waiting for this to load. And... There we are. Shine of the two moons. Jump. Oh no, you died. Okay, so I need to change this computer time. Okay, so which one's the seller? I think it's this one. Yeah, this one has a repair thing. Okay, so those will automatically sell and selling these. Um, do, 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 do. And we made about 8 gold, 42 silver, and 20 copper. I'm not going to count, well, I am going to count the ones from the last run. It was barely under gold, so it's not really that important. Okay, I don't really know how long that took. Let's just say it took 15 minutes. Yes, no. Let's say 9. No, yeah, let's just go 7. Seven's a pretty good number. Um, divided by sixty equals uh, never mind. Okay, seven divided by sixty equals. Okay, still didn't work. Well, anyway, um, 
you made about that much, so all you have to do is just multiply that times the time it went to go through the instance. You go, you take the time you it took to go from the start of the instance to the end to where you looted everything. You divide that by the number by 60, which is the number of minutes. And then you take that number and you multiply it by the by the final amount of gold. You don't have to add the copper. It really doesn't make sense in the calculator. And then that's the amount of money you could earn in an hour. So, that's how you figure that out. I'm sorry, I cannot show you what's the calculator. But I did not look at how long it took before I started this. And I didn't record that part of the screen. So, I can't just look back and say it at the end of the video. So... That's the end of the video. Sorry it wasn't as good as the first one, but things happen. Um, if you like this, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll be making new videos soon.